Okay, we're going back to the beginning of the panoramic view. See how well you did. Point out the items. We have the mirror. This is going to have to be taken off the wall, the back treated. We have the phone, and that can be a hot item because how do you treat a phone? In some hotels, when it's so bad, we ask the people to throw them away. If not, they're put into like a bag. They're heated about 130 degrees for a couple of hours. Again, you have to make sure what type of phone you have. You might want to check with the telephone company. We have the desk. And the desk is not just simply taking the drawer out, inspecting and treating back there. The whole drawer has to come out. The desk has to be turned upside down and treated. We have the chair. Same thing, upside down and treated. Now we move over here. We've got a nightstand, which just like in the old days when we did the cockroach work, we would take out the drawer, pull the whole thing out, treat in the back, Take this, turn it upside down, treat the back of that, the underside. Now, this lamp is a beauty. It's a rattan-like uh, structure where there's literally thousands of places that bed bugs can deposit eggs as well as hide in cracks. So again, it might have to be thrown out or heated. You might say, well, why didn't we go right to the bed? because they'll start to move. You want to have this system where you treated the residual around the floor wall juncture and the ceiling wall juncture. In fact, one of the things we need to look at, which I kind of skipped over, and hopefully you picked it up, was the baseboard on here is not just a piece of wood or plastic, it's the carpet. But when we get a close-up of it, you'll see that it's a strip of carpet which is loose and it's just a beautiful area the entire way around the room that's going to have to be pulled, inspected, and treated. We've flipped the desk. We're going to take a close look at it now. And the first thing you notice, it's got hundreds to thousands of cracks and crevices where the bed bugs could hide. This is the ideal place to use a residual, crack and crevice in all the cracks, and spot treat as many areas as possible. In pointing to these locations, one, two, here's another one, another slit, just ideal. The color matches the bed bug, you don't see them. The base of the legs, all four legs, the grooves, both the bottom and the inside. The cracks wherever two pieces of wood come together. Every single spot has got to be treated. Now I also flip the chair. And now I, like in real life, there are problems. The back is stapled. I can see in this small hole. So I've got two choices. Try to treat through here or take off the tacking. And that's going to depend, do I see any, any activity here or any signs? The rest of the room, is it severe? If it is, there's no question. This back must come off and then I treat the same way with the residual, all the cracks and spot treat. And you would do the same thing with every single piece of furniture that you have in this room. And it takes time. Oh, did I mention the curtains? <whistles> Big pleats. The bottom have cracks in them, spaces. These have to come off, dry clean. There's a valance on top. That has to come off, the back of it treated. So I'm just standing in one spot, and the longer I stand somewhere, the more I see the more work I know I have. Thoroughness is the key, and you'll get better and better at this because the more thorough you are, the time you take, it takes about two hours to do a room, a single room, the less time you have to come back and do extra service. To save time, I've taken the mirror and the picture that was above the bed off the wall, turned them around. They have to be inspected and treated. 
Now, in this case with the picture, somebody did a good job of taping it and sealing all the cracks around here. Actually, a part of IPM in reducing cracks and crevices. However, this bed bug is so small and can hide in so many places. The little loop, there's four of them or three on this picture, hundreds of bed bugs can hide in a single one. So it cannot be neglected. You have to treat crack and crevice this as well and around the frame because this may be on the wall and it'll just be behind here. In fact, if you take it off the wall and you find there's 20, 30 or more bed bugs on it, grab your vacuum cleaner, vacuum the bed bugs off, then treat with your residual around the perimeter of this. Every picture in the room needs to be done that way in every mirror.